Army Mammal Center. I just wanted to pass on a report received last night from an RP named Melanie. She said there was a ray uh, stuck in a slough by 5 Port Royal Avenue in San Carlos, San Mateo. The car to report a shark in distress at New Brighton Beach. Um, I guess it was it was on the beach, um, but I did see a distressed uh, stingray, or it might be possibly dead. I'm not sure. It was in um, Tiburon. In the Marine Mammal Center. We got a report of a dead shark on the north and the Sunset Beach in Watsonville. Um, just wanted to let you know we do have photos um, and can pass on the RP information. If you the Marine Mammal Center in Sausalito. Uh, we just got a call about a baby, it looks like a white shark, but I can't quite tell, um, that has hauled out at Morro Strand State Beach. Um, the RP reported that it may have had an injury of some kind on it. I do have a photo um, that I can forward along to you guys. But like I said, it was at Morro Strand State Beach in San Luis Obispo. Thank you. We have a report of a shark that keeps beaching itself at Marshall's Beach in San Francisco. Hey, Sean. This is a lifeguard at Ocean Beach, San Francisco. You can call. We met years ago and years before that on a couple of uh, salmon sharks that we've uh, gathered up for you. Well, today we've got another salmon shark, and it's uh, 11 and 41, and this one's real fresh. That's about a four-foot salmon shark. Something of interest for you, a shark with what looks like to be a, a fishing lure going um, in Santa Cruz. I got a report of a juvenile shark that is beached and having trouble. There's definitely two, though. And um, you're right, it is a tide gate closure. Uh, no, that's a shark, sorry, big difference. That- Marine Mammal Center. I just got a call about a dead shark, um, a three foot long striped shark. That- shark and Ray Rescue contact number. And uh, I wanted to talk to Sean. Uh, Sean and I am, live in Red the Shores and we have a lagoon system. And we have a really very large bat ray that has uh, floated in through the pipe and is in one of our canals. And they don't tend to do very well here. They're going to um, report that I was walking kids down by Redwood High School on the, um, the bike path and there's a canal that went along there and about five or ten bat rays stuck in there and appeared. Um, the water was murky and it didn't seem like they had access to get out. So um, I called a number of different places and I was directed to you. So I'm in Gray, California. I just called the Marine Mammal Center and they directed me to you. I wanted to report a family of bat rays um, or some type of rays and two sharks that are um, in the Corte Madera Creek. Um, Marine Mammal Center. Um, I'm calling because we got a call at 5.40 last night um, about a leopard shark that was stuck in shallow water. Um, in Burlingame. This is the Burlingame Police Department. We're calling to report a leopard shark in low tide. Currently, the shark is still alive. You can please call us back and we greatly appreciate it. Our response office. Uh, we received a call this evening at 7.45. She called to report uh, a three-foot leopard shark struggling in shallow water behind uh, uh, a commercial building at one Chiburon, California. And there was a, about a three and a half foot shark, which I think was a leopard shark that had sort of beached himself. And we tried to get him back out to the water. We were guiding him by his tail. And every time it got deep enough for him to swim, he spun around and came back. And we're actually headed back out there now. I'd be curious what to do. I want to see if he's still there. And even if he's not, I'd be curious what to do in the future. So, and we can be reached here at, oh, I think I've got you on the other line. So. Someone called uh, about a shark in distress about four feet long coming up and out of the water on the beach at Belvedere Cove. Uh, the shark is at the, uh, in front of the address of 180 Beach Road at the bottom of the metal access uh, stairs on that road uh, to the yacht club. I'm calling to report a deceased four-foot leopard shark off of one of our shores. If you can call us back at six. Reporting what appears to be a five-foot-long leopard shark struggling in shallow water near the Aqua Hotel in Richardson Bay in Mill Valley. 
Um, animals apparently swimming in circles appears to be struggling perfectly. We do know there's been sightings of great whites closer to home, although that doesn't seem to be scaring surfers along the coast of Santa Cruz. And you respect the fact that you're in their territory, you're in their home, if you will, so we just accept that. That's the ocean, so <laughs> we, went, we went surf for, I don't know, about an hour or so and then got out. Nobody got bit while we were in there. Sean Van Summeren is with the Pelagic Shark Foundation. Monterey Bay, uh, this area of the central California coast, has about you know, two dozen species of sharks, of which only one is really a, a potential you know, hazard, sort of like you know, bear Yosemite. And that would be the great white. Most of the shark attacks in Hawaii involve tiger sharks. Warning signs have been posted along the coast in Maui. Jennifer Hodges, KCBS.